Being in quarantine and transferring to online courses has definitely been a huge change for all students. I asked some of my friends how they were coping with the adjustment. It was a little bit difficult for me just because I just moved into a new place that didn't have Wi-Fi, so I wasn't expecting to need Wi-Fi as soon as I did for my classes, so I had to actually drive somewhere um, that had a Wi-Fi hotspot available, which was annoying for a while, so I'm sure like a lot of people had difficulties similar to that with getting access to like the stuff they needed. It's definitely been weird because being like a science major, I'm in a lab pretty much every day and adjusting to online labs and stuff is pretty challenging. Lectures aren't really too bad, but you know, just I made a study space in my dining room area and that's kind of where I've been doing everything. A couple teachers started like they said we were going to have a test and then we didn't and then we did have something else and then we didn't. So it's just been like really hard to keep track of it. So like, I'm okay with doing the online work. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm also not really as motivated to do online work at all. Cause like I liked being in a classroom and being with people I knew. And now that it's just all online, I don't want to do anything. Adjusting to online classes has not only been different, but also a challenge. All of my friends have faced different challenges with their classes being online. Let's hear about what some of those challenges are. A lot of small issues can happen that only having a teacher in person helps with. Like you can't communicate as thoroughly over email and get like the proper assistance that you need. Out of the four classes I'm taking, I think only one of them is actually like pretty good and like I'm understanding the material and it isn't that big of a transition, but like a couple of them, like I was taking biology so obviously we can't go and mix drinks now so it's just us looking up the history of alcohol which makes it like 90 percent more boring now probably just like communication with if i have i have a lot of group projects so communication with uh, my group members is kind of hard because some people don't respond that well or just kind of leave everything to the last minute so if we're not in person, it's kind of hard to like get everyone to do their work. Having to just being able to keep up with myself kind of and staying on task and just turning everything in on time because my professors are being good at communicating like when stuff's due, but it's still a lot of accountability on us. So it's it's hard to stay on on topic. <laughs> Having classes online doesn't allow you to have the same relationship with your professor as you would in person. Here's what my friends have to say about how their relationship with their professors have changed. I was inclined to say that it made it worse, but I think it actually has improved it. A couple of my professors have actually called us and like had one-on-one -on -one meetings to make sure things were okay and make sure we were safe and that we were understanding what was going on and just kind of checking in. Um, in general, I feel like for a couple of my classes though it's just made it like more estranged like we're not really relating to the professor anymore or like in contact when we're in the class like when we're on zoom like a lot of people don't really talk who would normally talk in class so i think that's kind of the only thing um a lot of people are just like quieter and classes are kind of more lecture based instead of like the whole class like joining in the workload has been different for every class ever since transferring online. My friends gave me a variety of answers as to how the workload in their classes have changed. Oh, it's less work because at least for one of my classes, it's a 3D modeling class and we were supposed to be able to use a 3D printer, which we can no longer use, which kind of sucks because I was looking forward to doing that because I've never used one before. Um, so that project got completely cut out of the curriculum because obviously that's not possible anymore. I think less work. I think a lot of the professors are like understanding that this wasn't a voluntary change, that a lot of us had like a lot of stress in our lives or just like family home or not the same kind of working conditions. So instead of giving us more because we're not doing anything, they definitely have like, they've reduced the amount of pages, like my five page paper turned into a two page paper and mid two of my midterm exams were canceled and then the exams that I did have, the amount of questions was less. So they've definitely tried to like lower it in most of my classes, but not all. In the beginning, I thought it was going to be a lot more 
work because I originally had one on online class um, anyways, and it was just like a lot more work than all my other classes. So I thought um, professors were just gonna try to give us a lot of work um, to compensate for like not being in class. But it's honestly not that much. I think it's a little bit less work. Overall, it's definitely more work because a lot of my classes are not meeting during normal times. And because we're not meeting dur during normal times, they're just giving us an extra assignment here and there to kind of replace it. But every professor is doing it, so I feel like it's just adding up. <laughs> All majors have had a different adjustment with classes being online, especially those majors that are more hands-on. I asked my friends how doing classes for their majors have been different online rather than in person. We don't have the same materials, the same access to materials, and it's just like you can't get the same um, level of help that you would get if you were in person from the teacher. It's just not possible. Luckily, since I'm a second semester senior, it hasn't really changed anything that much because I was taking all elective classes. Um, so they're all like a mix of years and just really random curriculum. Like I'm taking community psych and mixology, which is an elective, but I'm really glad it isn't last semester because I was taking one of like the core requirements for graduating. And if I was taking that this semester, I would be like in a total panic. Everyone shows the work that they made in the past semesters. And since I'm a senior, um, a lot of my friends are senior design majors and they have their separate show um, which showcases their senior collection which is like eight pieces that they work really hard on and all of that got canceled so and i was in the class this semester to help put on the production so all of that got canceled and we really can't do anything in that class because it's based on everyone being in person and putting a whole event for like 700 people together. Um, so right now we're just like looking at past events and kind of evaluating that. So um, in the fashion industry, like everything is basically hands on. I feel like classmate wise, we've all gotten closer because we're all helping each other out more because there are certain things that like I'm getting and other people aren't, or they're getting and I'm not getting. And I feel like it actually brought us together more because we're helping each other out. The situation has been unique for all students and I'm glad I was able to interview some of my friends about their experiences. I'm Arceline DeAngelis, thanks for watching.